Today I will share the steps of how you can get 50 to 60 FPS on Epic settings on any of the RTX 20 series and 30 series cards and even an AMD card. If this helps you and works for you, a sub to the channel will be much appreciated. Also smash the like button, we're aiming for a thousand likes in this video just so that it's discoverable and it's, it helps with the algorithm so people can find this video and work it out for themselves as well as this is a game changing method and you'll see why. So currently I'm running a Ryzen 3600X paired with RTX 3080 10 gig and at 16 gig of RAM. Without doing any changes to the settings, I'm roughly getting about 30 to 35 FPS on Epic as you can see above. So now that I've showed you the actual frames that I'm getting, how do we actually end up getting 60 FPS? Let me show you that process. So first of all, you're going to go to Steam. So head to your Steam library, then go to ASA, right click on it, go to properties and open the install files and browse where the game is installed. Then you want to head to shooter games, saved, go to config and windows, and then you'll get the engine INI text. All you want to do is paste the script at the bottom. This will be in my discord channel and the link will be down. The only reason I'm putting a discord channel is basically because I don't want to get any guideline strikes for putting a script in the description so that's why i've done that and that's how you get 60 fps in arc survival ascended but wait don't leave yet as i still have pros and cons to talk about and a bonus step at the end of the video including the final verdict i'm just gonna take a small minute here and i'm gonna ask for a small little favor from you guys to just hit the subscribe button if this works for you and smash the like button so we can get at least a thousand likes because I want everybody to find out about this method so the algorithm picks up on the video and projects it to everybody so everyone can join the bandwagon of getting 60 fps on an RTX 20 and 30 series and also comment down below what graphic card are you using and how much fps did this script help you with and if you ran into some issues put those issues down there as well if i can help solve those issues i will in the comment section below and if someone else who has knowledge about this can comment it will be helpful to the community because this will help to get a data a rough data of how many devices can work on and what kind of fps people can expect so that's just a small request from me to you guys and my subscribers because this video took me four days of testing just to see if it works and i have tested everything from official servers to what kind of pros cons this thing has so i'm going to lay it down now in this next few minutes so sit back and relax and enjoy so the first con is going to be the inventory so why the inventory because if you open the inventory system it's going to be a little bit choppy as you can see there's a little bit of a delay when you're selecting items and it drops to 16 frames sometimes it drops to 30 frames that time it's not a problem but like in this case it dropped to 16 and that is an issue because then your character also gets a little bit choppy and when you leave the menu it kind of goes back but not fully it goes to like 30 fps and stuff there is two fixes to it one you can access the inventory again and exit it sometimes that fixes it or you can just look at the ground get to a higher fps and look up and that fixes it these are the two ways i found to fix it another way is to off zlss and turn it back on and that kind of fixes it this is one of the cons that i have the second con is going to be for streamers and content creators if anyone watching this video you cannot stream and record at the same time because it causes the bandwidth to go above 100% I guess and it crashes the game because right now as you can see I'm running 99 on GPU 99 on CPU which is intensive because I'm also recording so that's one of the issues that's why you can see like it dropping below 60 frames but without recording I get 60 to 70 frames on 2k and about 80 frames on 1080p I'll put the screenshots for you if you don't believe me so that's about that. The third con is going to be sometimes it randomly drops FPS. Now this may take a hot minute to get fixed on its own or you can do as mentioned go to the DLSS, turn it off, turn it back on and that should fix it. Or you can just exit to the main menu. Don't close the game, just exit to the main menu, restart the game and it should get fixed. The last con is going to be when you're low on health. Uh, let me just get low on health and I'll skip to that. And this is going to be the final con, which is the blood effect, which I call it when you're low on health. So when the screen radiates red on the corners, look closely to the corners, they'll be artifacting. Now, if you're sensitive to this kind of screen tearing or stuff like this, uh, you, sh you have to decide yourself, you have to stay away. But if you just focus on the character running, you won't see it because I was testing it. I was just seeing for the flaws and I that caught my attention and I'm just going to point it out. 
because i don't want to make a video where it's just roses everywhere it has thorns and it has a lot of cons <laughs> so yeah this is the major con i found when you're low on health it's just gonna this and sometimes it drops your fps as well so that's the one major con the pros you get fluid fluid kind of a gameplay um, you get 60 plus fps even on a 30 series because basically this is frame generation by amd and the script allows the game to run it that's all there is to it now a bonus tip for nvidia users is gonna be if you have geforce experience hit alt plus c together like alt c you will get the tab of recording and stuff so all you want to do is alt c and you'll get a performance tab click on the performance tab and then you'll get performance tuning you want to set that to enable automatic tuning and what that does is a soft overclocking for your graphic card to just get the little bit of boost on fps that helps a lot when you're not recording and stuff and you get smooth gaming i don't know if the video is doing justice to how much smooth the game is for me in the actual game other than it being recorded because it may get a little bit laggy but trust me it's a very smooth experience now we're just going to check about the official service we can log in into official service i've been playing on the official server for the past two hours without being kicked or anything like that there is no issues whatsoever so i'm just going to log into the official server and show you that part and here we are on an official server on the center map getting 60 fps running smoothly not not an issue it's not a mod so battle is not gonna like kick you off saying that you have some dll files and stuff it's just i and i to force the fsr to work for doing frame gen that's about it there's no issues whatsoever and if you run into any you can just comment it down below and we'll look into it so that's about it for the test on the official server it works flawlessly so don't worry just head into the official service with the settings and you should be getting 60 frames or higher depending on your cpu and your gpu and for the final verdict i would say this is an amazing amazing kind of a script or a mod it's not exactly a mod because it doesn't affect the game in any way shape or form you can go ahead and delete the script and it'll just go back to normal you don't have to verify the files or anything like that so that's a neat little script only thing i hate about this is i don't know why wildcard didn't think of this or do this are they that lazy or something because they're just busy releasing premium mods pay to win stuff and skins meanwhile they could have worked on this and many of the players could have enjoyed a better arc experience imagine how much optimized they could have got this compared to the script we are running because that's just stupid you could have got so much better at just making the game optimized than doing the skins and stuff like that but this is an answer for us gamers who are struggling with running asa hope this was helpful to you and hope you liked the video if you did please smash that subscribe button as this took long time for me i know it may seem a nod but for me it's really hard to edit such kind of videos if it worked out for you please consider leaving a sub and a like to the video that's all i'm gonna ask with that l survive signing off and i'll see you in the next one till then peace out